There are two things that fall under the umbrella of focal lengths um, that have a effect on the way you come off as an actor or appear on camera. There are known focal lengths that people will use on set or in photography that photograph and capture a face differently. There are the longer lenses, which are more beauty or portrait lenses that are in the 85 plus range, and that will make your features a little prettier, condense them, narrow them out, versus when you're on a wider lens, like a 20 or a 14, you begin to bring out all of the pieces, the ears, the nose becomes bigger because it's closer to the lens. Um, all of these things have an effect on how you are portrayed as an actor, and those are some of the tools that a cinematographer and a director will use to their advantage for the story. The biggest thing, though, is how, as an actor, do you know what lens they're going on, and how is that going to make you look knowing what that number is? So, a lot of people know that in this industry, a 35 millimeter and a 50 millimeter are close to the human eyesight. And so a 50, a nifty 50 in the industry, is known as a standard lens that you can begin on that will be pretty accurate to how we would see you as a person. However, a 35 is something where it's like if you were to add in the peripheral vision of someone. So it's tools like that where if you hear a 50 millimeter lens being called on set versus an 85, if you are maintaining the same width of your frame, but you are changing the lenses, which we will demonstrate in a few minutes, um, you will appear differently. And so knowing that you're on an 85 close up or you're on a 50 close up, your facial structure and the different pieces, your eyes, your nose, your ears, your chin, your pores, all of that's gonna have an effect. And, and having that vocabulary and having that knowledge or in the back of your head, like. Okay, I know if I move closer, my nose is going to appear bigger. If I'm, I know if I um, move further with an 85, I'm going to go out of focus sooner. Um, things like these elements are the things we kind of want to talk about today um, and are pretty basic technical vocabulary that you'll hear on set. So there are two tests we want to show you, and that is different focal lengths within two different change environments, and that is the distance and proximity to the camera itself, the subject to camera, and how different focal lengths will actually just change the width of the frame, the very basics. And then as well, changing the distance of camera to subject and changing focal length, how if you continue to keep the same width, how those different numbers as they change, change the way that you look and how the background is magnified. It'll appear compressed or closer further to you based off of the number on the lens, whether it's a 24, a 50, an 85, 135. Um, so those are a few of the tests we want to do so that you can have that understanding on set. Let's get into 